The BRCA gene mutation isn't only a risk factor for breast cancer, but for other cancers like pancreatic and prostate cancer. Fred Hutch now wants more men to consider BRCA screening. I talked with one prostate cancer patient who says it's one of the best things he did. James DeLong was the picture of good health when he got the surprise of his life. I was diagnosed when I was 51 years old. Uh, with very aggressive prostate cancer. And I was stunned because I was in incredibly fit health. I was a gym rat. I was a cyclist. I was a swimmer. I was a tennis player. His diagnosis continued to puzzle him until everything changed. That mystery was really solved 17 years later. That was when he met with Dr. Heather Chang, a professor of hematology and oncology at Fred Hutch Cancer Center. Chang helped him get tested for the BRCA gene mutation. Every person inherits a copy of BR, and I, I call them BRC1 and BRC2. Dr. Chang explains we all have these genes which work to repair damaged DNA. So they're basically proofreading genes. But when a copy of BRCA has a mutation, any damages to DNA might not get fixed. And that then leads to a higher risk of developing cancer because BRC1 and BRC2 are so important for maintaining the integrity of the DNA. BRCA might sound familiar. It is linked to breast and ovarian cancer risk among women. Chang explains initial studies on the BRCA gene were done on breast cancer patients in the 90s, but the mutation is also associated with pancreatic and prostate cancer. For James, finding Finding out about his BRCA variant, even after his diagnosis, helped him. It was actually a bit of a relief for me because I had always wondered, all those 17 years, like, why why did I get this with, with absolutely no risk factors? He then reflected on his own family history. Of course, immediately I thought about my mother, who had breast cancer when she was about 50, and my father's younger sister, who had breast cancer when she was about 50 and eventually died of it. He also informed his two daughters, one of whom inherited the BRCA mutation and started preventative measures. So yeah, knowledge is power. Uh, makes a difference, can save lives. It's exactly why Dr. Cheng says men should be aware of possibly carrying the gene. A JAMA review out this summer advises more women and men with a family history to be screened for damaging BRCA variants. That is not only important for their family, but there are more treatments for those patients. I don't know whether you'll be... Treatments designed for patients like James, who keeps a list handy. I still hold on to this page to today because um, I know that actually having this mutation opens me to treatments that are effective for people with this mutation, treatments that don't necessarily work for anybody if if you don't have the mutations. And the knowledge of knowing he has options. I don't worry about dying from prostate cancer, which I could not say that eight years ago. For a link to the full list of screening recommendations, look for the story in the HealthLink section of kink5.com. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.